In the previous lesson, we saw that secondary storage is a way of storing data in the long term. We also saw how magnetic storage devices function, their uses, and their advantages and disadvantages. However, magnetic storage is just one category of storage device. Solid state and optical storage are also types of storage that have their own features and uses. There are several types of solid state storage devices which we commonly use nowadays. For example, solid state drives are a popular alternative to hard disk drives. USB flash drives and SD cards are popular forms of solid state storage that are used as portable storage devices. Solid state storage devices store data using semiconductor chips. These chips can be switched to either an on or off state. The on state represents a one and the off state represents a zero. What are the relevant features of solid state storage though? Capacity. Solid state storage devices do have a large capacity. However, it quickly becomes expensive and so they don't generally offer as much storage as magnetic storage. Speed. Unlike most other storage media, solid state storage has no moving parts to access data. This gives it very fast read-write speeds. Portability. Solid state storage devices are generally quite small and lightweight. They are also quite durable. This makes them good as portable storage devices. Durability. Because they have no moving parts, they are less likely to be damaged by knocks and bumps, making them quite durable. Reliability. Solid state storage devices have a finite number of writes before they no longer work. This makes them less useful for devices that require regular writing to the disk, like many servers. Cost. Solid state storage devices are expensive when compared to most alternatives. A one terabyte solid state drive would typically cost three to four times more than a one terabyte hard disk drive. Overall, solid state storage devices are extremely popular as portable storage devices. This is due to their fast read write speeds, being small and lightweight, and being quite durable. They also provide better capacity than other portable options. This is especially true of USB flash drives, which are very small and portable and have a built-in USB connector for good compatibility. As well as being used as portable storage devices, solid state drives are often used as an alternative to hard disk drives as the main internal storage device. This is especially true in smaller devices like smartphones, tablets, and some laptops. This is due to their small size, durability, and because they don't use as much power as hard disk drives. However, even in desktops, they are starting to become more popular due to their fast read-write speeds and because the capacity of a solid state drive has been catching up with hard disk drives. The last type of solid state storage we've mentioned is the SD card. There are a number of variants of this, such as micro SD. Overall, these types of storage media are used for extended storage in small devices like smartphones and cameras, as they're very small and thin. Optical storage includes things like CDs, DVDs, and Blu-ray discs. Optical media records data by using a laser on a reflective spinning disc. A laser can make marks on the disc in order to record data. Marked areas are known as pits and represent zeros in binary. Non-marked areas are known as lands and represent ones in binary. Data can then be read from the disc by reflecting a laser off of it. LANs will reflect the light back to a receiver, whereas PITs will not reflect the light back. Blu-ray discs have a higher concentration of PITs and LANs than DVDs, meaning they can store more data. This is because blue light is more precise than the red light used on DVDs. What are the relevant features of optical storage devices though? Capacity. An individual optical disc has a relatively low capacity. A Blu-ray disc can store 25 gigabytes which is very little compared to hard disk drives and solid state drives. Speed. Optical disks are slower than hard disk drives and all forms of solid state storage for reading and writing too. Portability. They are very small and lightweight and so are highly portable, though it does require the recipient devices having an optical disk drive which is becoming increasingly rare. Durability. Optical disks are very easy to damage. They're flimsy and easy to break. They can also be scratched very easily, which can damage the data being stored. Reliability. Optical disks will work for a limited number of writes, potentially up to 1,000 times, but usually quite a bit less. Cost. Optical disks are very cheap. You could buy a pack of 50 Blu-ray disks for less than £30. That's over one terabyte of storage. Overall, optical disks are really only used for storing music, films, TV and software for distribution by suppliers. 
For example, game publishers distribute games on disc to retail stores to sell. This is due to their low cost and excellent portability. They once were popular for individuals to use as a portable storage method for the same reasons. However, devices like USB flash drives have almost entirely replaced them for this as they are more durable, faster and have much better storage capacities. So, solid state devices store data using semiconductor chips. They are very fast, portable and durable. However, they are relatively expensive, don't have as good capacity as hard disk drives and can only work for a finite number of writes. They are very thin and so are ideal for mobile devices. Optical media stores data on a disk by shining light on the reflective surface. They are portable and cheap to buy. However, they have poor capacity, slow read write speeds, are easily damaged and only work for a small number of writes. They are only really used for distributing media like movies, music and video games and even here they are losing popularity.